The main goal of this playthrough is to get to 1 million caps legitimately, without cheats, mods or glitches, with the exception of the companion unlimited carrying weight glitch. And we are going to do all this in survival mode. This is Baron Wofet and this is the story. Starting point for today is 275,000 caps, 11 settlements, and 2,300 purified waters. Our melon production is, as in the last episode, 894, our corn and potato production are 192, and our meat fruit production is 84. You probably noticed that the amount of purified waters that I had was going down in the previous episodes. So for this episode, we are building a new and improved water farm. This time we are aiming for at least 2,500 water production. Additionally, by this time we already have a modest income from the stores that we built across the Commonwealth. So we are also expanding the number of settlements we have so we can build even more stores, so we can get even more income. So, as in the first episode, we had to accumulate a bunch of resources to be able to build this huge water farm. We are talking about massive amounts of resources for both our industrial water purifiers as well as for enough power for the whole farm. In order for us to reach the 2500 water production, we are going to need 63 industrial water purifiers as well as 63 medium power generators. We could of course go for fusion generators which produce more power with less components, but we don't have the necessary perks to build it so we are not going to go for it. However, I advise it, if you can, to use it in your specific build, because it's way more efficient. We started by first trying to think of where to build our new and improved water farm. We need a place with a lot of available water to place our industrial water purifiers, as well as space for our power generators. And as you probably guessed, the best option in the entire map, with more than enough space for everything that we need, is of course Spectacle Island. Claiming it was no easy task whatsoever in survival mode. I actually died twice from the Milo Queen guarding the generator, but eventually I was able to claim the island. After that, I needed to connect Spectacle Island to the remaining settlements, so I thought I might as well take the opportunity and also get access to our second settlement of today, which is the castle. After taking the Spectacle Island, getting this settlement was actually pretty straightforward, and I was able to get it at my first try. This was my first time capturing a castle without the Minutemen, which as you probably noticed, they are still stuck at the Museum of Freedom. After a brutal fight against the Milo Queen and her subjects, I was able to finish her off with my combat shotgun. Once in control of the workshop, I connected the settlements and added basic conditions. When choosing the crops to plant at this settlement, I went for corn and potato, which were the components lacking the most from my adhesive farms that we built in the last episode. Once I had the settlement up and running, I finally connected Spectacle Island to the rest of the network so I could share the already available resources. After this, I finally turned my attention to the main task in hand, the new water farm. As I mentioned before, we are going to need at least 63 industrial water purifiers as well as 63 medium power generators. The resources for both are shown in the screen. So for the industrial water purifier, we actually need 4 oil, 2 ceramic, 10 rubber, 4 copper, 20 steel, 4 cloth and 6 screws. And for the medium power generator, we need 1 ceramic, 3 rubber, 3 copper, 7 steel, 3 screws and 3 gears. So in order to build our 63 water purifiers as well as our 63 medium power generators, we need in total 252 oil, 189 ceramic, 819 rubber, 441 copper, 1701 steel, 252 cloth, 567 screw, and 189 gear. As you can see, the amount of resources that we need is really really large. However, this time is actually a little bit easier, because in the first episode we didn't have that many purified waters to begin with, in order to exchange them for our components. So in that case we actually had to wait and go back and forth from Sanctuary to Diamond City in order for the in-game time to pass so we could accumulate more purified waters and then exchange them for the materials we need. However, 
this time we already have all the necessary purify wars that we need in order to buy all the components. I was lacking most of the components, but hopefully all the necessary components were available for purchase at Diamond City. You can get shipments of oil, ceramic, rubber, copper, steel, cloth, screw and gear throughout all the stores. In order to rapidly buy the components, the best method that I found was to just go through all the vendors that you need, buy whatever stuff you need and then sleep or wait for 48 hours in order for the shops to reset their stocks. After a long, tedious process of buying all the necessary materials, we finally traveled to Spectacle Island and started building. And let me tell you, I know it's probably just for me, but I've never seen so many industrial water purifiers in one place at once. We basically butchered part of the ocean view that we can get from the island. From part of the island, we can only see industrial water purifiers everywhere. As I said in the first episode, the game tends to do weird stuff with the number of purified waters available when the water farm is connected to the other settlements. So in order to disconnect Spectacle Island to our settlements, I had to use some very sophisticated tactics. <clears throat> with our new and improved water farm, we actually surpassed 2500 water production. With the amount of water that we are producing right now, we can get almost 2,000 purified waters every time okay. we visit Spectacle Island. At 60 up. caps each, we can potentially sell each batch for roughly 32,000 caps, which is absolutely crazy. Our last settlement of today is Jamaica Plain, which we were able to get very easily and we basically just mimic all the constructions we did at the castle including more potatoes and corn for our ATC farms. Finally, to wrap up this episode, we went around every single settlement that we have, we collected the money that we got from stores. And from the last few days of in-game time, we collected around 12,000 caps. Although in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot. This means that in most settlements, where we build three trading stands only, we already made back our 900 caps that we invested in the first place. And this means that from this point on, we only get profit, which is really, really good. So today we surpassed 379,000 caps, we reached our 14 settlements, we currently have 5,880 purified waters, our store income is currently 550 caps a day, our melon production didn't change whatsoever, it's still at 894. However, our corn and potato production was improved to 288 and our meat fruit production is the same at 84. After successfully being able to build this new water farm, I am now much more confident that we can actually reach our goal of 1 million caps. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what we have in store for the next chapters of our goal. Thank you very much for watching and I really really hope you have a nice week. See you later.